I'm kind of embarrassed. I, uh, I was mentally preparing myself for beginning the stream here live on Twitch and, uh, couldn't hold back. Uh, had to let things go. I apologize if any of that got on those of you who were, uh, tuned in ahead of the time doing the drops and pops and the things you normally do. Uh, I hope not to be gassy for the remainder of the evening. I, I can make no promises. Thank you, Anonymous, whoever you are, for helping me get that, I was going to say off my chest, but maybe I should say out of my butt. So let's go ahead and begin things with the score today. This is something that I stumbled upon, did not have one until of course i went out and got one this is an lcd projector watch and i discovered that it's not quite as functional as i would have wanted it to be so effectively you've got this darth vader here and you've got a little lcd screen that it's not going to read out the time at this point but you can even press the side here and another side projects you can see it projecting onto my hand but the problem is uh, no matter how I adjust uh, this particular knob, I can't seem to flip the uh, uh, the actual pictures. So I, I think I've got to do some tweaking. It says push button and turn case. So I've turned the case there. I've turned the case here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I figured it out. I have. So you rotate this Darth Vader. And as you rotate it, it will broadcast or project a different image. And so I'm, I'm kind of excited about that. I was worried. I was like, wait a minute, this isn't working. Why is it not working? It's like never been used and obviously it's still projecting. So uh, yeah, and even this ring here can be twisted to refocus at different uh, uh, lengths. Uh, let me see. I'm going to grab my Enso rings. Any ideas as to which one I should wear tonight? So I'm not wearing one right now. All y'all watching live, you can pick one. Which, which one am I going to wear tonight? Uh, how did you get your Vader working? Rotate him. Yeah, I guess that's that, that, that was the long and short of it. I was going to use the back of this box to try to project the image that needs to be focused. This is kind of tricky to do uh, when you don't have a fixed focal point. There we go. It's, it's kind of focused. Can you see the... Uh, it looks like a Stormtrooper there. Let's go ahead and rotate Vader again. Looks like that's another stop point. Uh, that is a Vader helmet. It may be very difficult for you to see because it's very difficult for me to see. And I'm sitting right here with a ring that I'm going to wear. Gold. According to Liz. All right, Liz. Going for the gold. Haven't worn the gold yet. Get it on my finger. The silicone Enso ring. Uh, I would say of the night, but I'm not exactly wearing them every night. Uh, still, I've got a rotating LC... Sorry, I'm holding it upside down. There we go. I've got a rotating Darth Vader LCD projection watch now. It, uh, it'll probably remain in the box, although it's kind of beat up, so I may take it out. Be kind of fun to wear. I, I love the design that they used. You got Darth Vader... You know what? This is what we're going to do. Because I just feel like tearing into a watch, and I'm going to have you watch me. Oh, you wanted me to say, I love gold. C-3PO gold. You probably didn't notice me with my gold ring. Well, now you do. Figured you'd get a kick out of that Sith Lord Brit, the watch that is. But we've just begun with this unpackaging, and I do not want to slice into myself. And I thought this was just going to be straightforward, but geez, crackers. They, they've, like, put all sorts of weird plastic stuff in my way. Okay, let's see if I can get it out this way. Yeah? Yeah? There we go. Yeah? Okay. There we go. But then I've got this uh, tie, this plastic tie on it. Not to be confused with the TIE Fighter. Like a twisty TIE. Anyway, so I love the fact that they got a Vader there. I also see a Vader here. Oh, this is really nice. 
you know, when I when I get it off the plastic. Then I could wear it, right? Instead of this watch, this $20 smartwatch, I could wear this, I think it was like $9 amazing watch. Smartwatch or amazing watch? Which would you wear? Oh, I'm probably going to stick with this because this tells my heart. This just protects... Uh, wait. Now that I think about it, this does project awesome images. I almost said protects. Doesn't well, I guess the case does protect it. The 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 image that's in, in some kind of carousel that's projected out when the LCD is being by it's kind of neat. Would not have found it had I not been browsing a marketplace and I'm like, ooh, that looks kind of cool, but I wonder if they have a better price. I found a better price and I got it. That's usually how I find things. I'm like, oh, I had no idea this this existed. Uh, that seems kind of expensive. Let me see if I can find a better price. That is a better price. Indeed. We have our first clip of the evening. Thank you, Liz. I'm going to go ahead and download that and tweet it out uh, before going to the next set of things that I wanted to showcase tonight. A couple of new arrivals, brand new. Haven't seen them shared anywhere in social media yet, apart from the teaser images. I love gold there we go uh i have now tweeted that thank you very much again liz let's go ahead and scoot to this uh you know i'm happy when i'm like smile well, i mean of course when you're happy you know what crack a smile yeah for sure but uh they came in the uh the build -a bears came in and let's see if I can... It's like me right now. <laughs> Show me what you got. Ew. That does not sound good. It's like shorting out. Do you hear that? That was weird. Huh. It was working before, and then suddenly it's not working. My jaw is broken. Uh. That. Yeah, now it's definitely not working. I'm squeezing his paw, too. All right, looks like I'm going to have to contact customer service. Possibly get a replacement. Or at least I would hope to get a replacement. Uh, because this just doesn't work. Played it twice, and no more. But this is a new Build-A-Bear, and it is a bear, a Jawa bear, that uh, they made available a few weeks ago. So it's kind of a, a surprise that the uh, the voice box is not working. There's no other way of ordering it, either. You can't get it without the voice box. You heard it laugh once, and that was pretty much... Well, now it works. Well, now it works. All right, well, maybe I won't be contacting customer service. Uh, this is, uh, hopefully, going to be very warmly received on Jedi's birthday. I think it's kind of cute. I mean, even though, you know, it's a Jawa. Usually Jawas are not very cuddly, but this one's very cuddly. Being a Build-A-Bear Jawa uh, with the hood and the eyes and the, the, the bandoliers. And then, of course, the sound effects. That's what I was a couple seconds ago when I when I thought that, that this Build-A-Bear I'd have to return. By the way, on the feet, the little Jawa feet, you got Star Wars, the Mandalorian customization. Of course, you knew it was a Mandalorian Jawa when you heard it saying, Suga, 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 egg. Egg. That's not the only thing I got from Build-A-Bear. Because I needed to, uh, you know, make it worth my while. So, I got something that Sith Lord Brit probably wants. And this is a substantially larger pod than was previously available to me by way of the Disney pod. Uh, this was way overpriced, uh, admittedly. Way, 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 way overpriced. This, this, this Mandalorian pod of sorts. Uh, it's... Very, it, it's flexible. Yes, Card, made of cardboard, and, and, and of course, 
some kind of fabric atop the cardboard, but definitely not worth the price. Absolutely not. Don't consider it unless, of course, you absolutely need a pod for a Grogu that you have. But uh, this is the pod, and it's uh, it's nice, and it's got the Build-A-Bear logo on the back. Uh, it's nice because, like I said, the other one, I probably should have grabbed it, is a little smaller than, than this one, substantially. So, theoretically, when Jedi gets this one, she'll be able to, uh, you know, fit more in it. Or feel like she can carry it around rather than a small baby Yoda. She can get more things in this particular pod. That's the reason I got it. Uh, the question was, how much was that? 30 or more? Unfortunately, yes. And I paid it. I paid. I paid. Uh, so, I hope she likes it. Because let me tell you, uh, I did not like the price at all. But it should last us a while. Uh, there's no other pod like it available on the market. The closest is about half this size, maybe? A little too small. So this, uh, I think, will uh, will fit her needs rather well. Or at least I hope uh, fits her needs rather well. Does this make sense? You know, why, why, why I would get a pod to carry around a Grogu? Obviously, there's only one use for it. Because we don't really have a crib. We don't really have a cradle. This is it for a Grogu or... Or other things. I did not get a Build-A-Bear Grogu, however. Didn't want to do it. Instead, I opted to get a Loath Cat. So I got a Loath Cat. This is the second Loath Cat that I picked up. I don't know if it's got... I don't think it's got a sound effect. No, it has no sound effect. Uh, but this is the second Loath Cat. Uh, the first one, I think, is really cuddly that I've had. There was another Loath Cat that I missed... A few years ago at Star Wars Celebration. Didn't get that stuffy. Kind of regretted it. But here, let me make sure. You're able to get the full shot. You got the, the legs. They can't... I thought they could be posed, but I guess not. You've got uh, Build-A-Bear, Star Wars, and Mandalorian on the feetsies. Uh, but this is, of course, uh, from the planet Lothal. Uh, if you watch Star Wars Rebels, and you should have. Uh, again, this is going to be for Jedi. I'm holding the Jawa, the Pod, and this Loth Cat... Uh, for ransom. No, uh, I'm going to hold it uh, until uh, her birthday. So September 14th. And indeed, hang on just a second. Give me a second. Uh, after I'm done, I want to make sure we get a good shot of the Loath Cat here. Uh, this is the third known Loath Cat that's a stuffy. Probably the, the cuddliest Loath Cat. You know, it's smiley, really cuddly, really soft. The other one is not as cuddly as this one, so I hope Jedi really likes it uh, as a as a loath cat, uh, and it sits up right like that. Uh, big head, very very soft. Um, exactly what I was hoping for with the first loath cat, but I'm happy to have this other loath cat, second loath cat, I guess. Uh, the next thing we've got is the Jawa blaster. Not as exciting. Here, do I have to? I guess I have to do this, don't I? I have to put the uh, the Jawa's blaster on the Jawa's hands if I'm going to do this correctly, right? There we go. Now we've got a Jawa Build-A-Bear. See, he's got the... Uh, wait, am I... He's holding on it up to... Uh, come on. I, I, he, 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 there we go. He's, he's got to hold the, uh, the weapon correctly, otherwise, you know, bad things happen, I guess. So, uh, there's the Jawa. With the weapon, all exclusive. Can't get it anywhere else. We've had other soft Jawas. Soft-ish Jawas. But Jedi wasn't really inclined to, you know, necessarily hold on to them or play with them. I'm hoping that with a fully soft Jawa, she's going to get a kick out of it. That's that's my that's my hope. Just like a fully soft Loath Cat. And, and of course, like a, the, uh, the, the, the Pram, uh, I think she's going to like anyway. Uh, if only because it's larger. So I got, because they were free, two birth certificates for uh, the the uh, the Jawa and the uh, um, and the the, the Loath Cat. So one one birth certificate for the Build a Bear is uh, black and light brown. So this is the Jawa. Glitter Stim is the Jawa's name, and Glitter Stim is actually from Legends. It was the spice, or a spice, and it belongs to Jedi Perillo, stuffed with love by Luke Skywalker. 
Because, you know, that's, that's far more exciting than getting it from mom and dad. Uh, so that is uh, the Jawa, I assume. Yes, and then medium brown and yellow. Uh, this is Kip. Also, Kip Duron, again, from Legends. Uh, this is a gift for Jedi. Oh, wait, hang on. Yellow and medium brown. Maybe this is the Jawa. Uh, stuffed with love by Han Solo. So Han Solo made this one. So I thought it'd be... I, I, I just, but it'd be Kip and Glitter Stim. I, just, I, I thought it would be kind of fun. I don't know. Not that I, I chase down stuffies, because I don't. Uh, for the most part, I, I, I try to avoid them because they're pretty commonplace, but it isn't often you find a loath cat. And the Jawa was just there kind of begging to be picked up. I'm like, you know, maybe she'll like this Jawa. I have no idea if she will. And so I'm keeping my fingers crossed. I have also successfully printed, thank you, Hollywood N3D. I think it's awesome as well. A Princess Leia figurine. By the way, uh, the artist uh, yesterday of this particular series of figurines or figures uh, ended up quote tweeting me uh, last night or this morning uh, when I reached out to him to let him know, hey, I printed all these in, in hologram and uh, he got a kick out of it. He thought it was a pretty good effort. So I ended up doing this layout today uh, and of course in, in this magenta or pink specifically for Jedi. Uh, because there just aren't enough of these types of figures uh, out there for her. You need a happy Lothcat pick? I thought you had a... Oh, was I not smiling? Okay, how's this? Like, get this. It is... Am I... Which is happier, okay? You have to decide. Who's happier? Me or the Lothcat? Me or the... We're not going to adopt a cat. That would not make me smile. But adopting a loath cat? Oh, absolutely. I would do this. Maybe not again. Maybe with a smaller loath cat. I'm, I'm just hoping. I'm hoping that the cuddly loath cat is gonna, it's gonna land well. Hug it? Oh, why, why am I doing, why am I hugging this? This is not for me to hug. I, I don't hug cats. They go and then scratch me. I'm kind of scratchy to begin with. Uh, hang on, I've just got to make sure, am I grabbing you in the right spot? Are, are we dancing here with your paw? Uh, there's, there's, this is a little cat. Yeah, you got to be careful not to get the ears up your nose. You're pointy, and I know you're inclined to do this, but you don't ever want to do that with a little cat ear. Not recommended. And definitely... <laughs> The other cats are jealous. Unless that, uh, that that may have been a, a loath cat. I don't know. Drinking wine tonight out of a box with my pinky up because I'm classy. So uh, that's that's pretty much it. That's all I had to showcase tonight. The loath cats, the pram, the uh, Jawa, the the Princess Leia, and. When, didn't I show you, like, one other thing? I swear. Oh, the, the, the Darth Vader watch. Yeah, that was it. Now, I'm printing a Darth Vader. Of course, in the same color as the Princess Leia, because I, I wanted one, and I figured Jedi would want one as well. And I'm not going to... Don't worry. I'm not going to go through the full array of the figures again in this color. Uh, but I thought, you know, while I'm at it, I got it loaded... Uh, I'll just uh, I'll shoot off a couple, uh, see how it goes, and so far so good. I only had to pre-print, after I realized there was an error in the uh, STL file, I had to pre-print a part of the body or the torso. Uh, otherwise, it would have been floating up a layer and it may have caused some issues. But I was able to address that potential shortcoming with what they call a raft. So I, I printed a raft. Yeah, it's kind of, it, it is, uh, it is Pepto-Pink. And it is from Printed Solid. Uh, I, I think uh, David would be surprised to know that this is probably the more frequent color, I guess, I've printed with. Um, so I'm, I'm going to be printing random things in the coming days, weeks, months, years. Uh, of course, most of it's probably still going to be Star Wars, though. So don't be too surprised. Hey, Boaz! You just missed today's 
awesome haul. Or I think it's awesome. That's my opinion. Because I'm an adult. That's right. I can do whatever the hell I want. If I want to 3D print a Star Wars figure and wear a gold C-3PO silicone ring and showcase awesome stuffies that you can't get, well, really from walking in anywhere. This was like an online exclusive. Uh, I'm going to do it. That's my prerogative. Because I'm old enough. See, when I wasn't old enough, I wouldn't be able to do it. I'd just be able to dream about doing it. But now that I'm old enough, I can do whatever the hell I want. I love that. I mean, I can't do whatever I want. I gotta, I gotta do the things I gotta do. But because I do the things that I gotta do, I get to do the things that I want. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you gotta, you gotta do the things you don't wanna do to get to the things that you wanna do. We've got a Vader time here, so let's go ahead and grab the helmets. Chris will give everyone one million popcorn. What? <laughs> well, I'm glad Vader said that because uh, I'm the one sitting here right now. I'm the one right here. Tell you what, we start a hype train, a million. We get through a level five, five million. How about that? Is that good? Get out of the station, one million, five million, if we get through level five, which is a rare occasion these days with it being summer. Everyone is uh, outside for some asinine reason. Oh, we were, uh, we were looking at the sunset. You can do that inside, just look through the window. Uh, we were uh, uh, doing a sports thing. Who does that? I'm sorry. I, I, I'm going to go on record saying that su summer is like the worst time. If you're not in school or a teacher, summer, ugh. But Coda 120, see, you're outside. That's fine. But you're also enjoying this very indoorsy activity. And that's what it's all about. Always enjoying the indoors. Like there's, there's, there's really no argument here. As far as I'm concerned. Uh, I didn't accomplish a lot today, or at least I don't feel very accomplished. I, you know, of course, doing this stream is an accomplishment. That's one of the reasons I set that as a goal earlier. Man, this loath cat head is like gigantic. Huge. I, like, seriously, the loath cat head is as big as mine. It's going to be bigger than Jedi's. Bring the indoors out. Can you do that, though, effectively? Uh, I just had a, a couple of minor tasks that I absolutely needed to pound through. Uh, because if I, if I didn't, then they would just be sitting there for me. You watched the movie Luca, but in French today. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> My name's Liz. I watch movies in French. I watch with subtitles. English subtitles. Of course, I'm, I'm watching in English, but... That that counts, doesn't it? I just I got used to, to watching with subtitles, and I'm kind of I'm glad I do. I mean, there's some people that don't like that, but I got used to it. Um, you know, I would miss dialogue frequently. I'm like, oh, that's what they were saying. Okay, I'm glad I had the the subtitles on. That made a hell of a lot more sense. When I don't have subtitles on, sometimes I get more confused. Uh, Luca is on my list. Uh, currently pounding through The Sopranos, and uh, into season three now. Not quite getting through a season a day, not, not watching that much, uh, but um, I, uh, I want to watch uh, Quiet Place 2, Luca for sure, and then um, we'll see. We'll see what happens after that. The cleaning lady loves Disney, but she speaks French and Polish, so I was being nice. Oh, well, that's very kind of you. Very courteous. Black Widow is going to be on the back burner until it's a fully available film on the Disney Plus platform. I'm not inclined to pay uh, an extra $30 or however much it costs. I think that's what it is, which is reasonable if it was Diana, myself, Jedi, maybe a couple of friends. Totally. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's, that's absolutely worth the price. But if it's just me, not worth it. Not worth it. Not going to happen. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to wait on Black Widow. And from what I can see, from what people have said, it's 
it's kind of a waiter. Not a renter, necessarily, but a waiter. As in, you can wait. There have been plenty of films that I've seen previews for, and I'm like, yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe a renter. Or, yeah, no, I'm never going to make time for that. Uh, Fix him, dude. Says we did the subtitles a lot when the boys were younger, so they couldn't hear all the colorful words. Ah, fair enough. Very smart, Fix him, dude. Very smart. By the way, Fix him, dude, let me again say thank you. I posted in Discord. Uh, thank you for helping with the screenshots last night. That saved me a good amount of time. Uh, it usually does. Otherwise, I go in and I have to crop a certain way, the way that macOS uh, loads a lot of videos. So it's very, very helpful. Very helpful. Sometimes I'll give the character's name in the subtitles before you know who it is in the show. Yes! Sometimes. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes they don't spoil it. Uh, but very frequently, I'll... I'll if without seeing the subtitles, like, I can't... I can't... I can process. But I can't figure out what they're saying. <sighs> Maybe that's worse with shows like The Sopranos, but... Who knows? I'm hoping that leaving them on will only encourage Jedi to read. Keep my fingers crossed. If anyone wants help with screenshots when I'm missing or fix them, dude, is it's often best done on your phone. Yeah, that's the right perspective or aspect ratio, I should say. Perspective. Yes, the aspect ratio. That's that's the word I was thinking of. My hair is getting longer. I can feel it. You may not be able to see it, but uh, so many of y'all have been very, um, uh, like, you know, concerned when I cut my hair. I don't plan on cutting it anytime soon. Uh, it's going to stay this length for the next little while. Get the Jawa to cut it. No, I don't think so. Uh, that'll be Diana. Uh, although, when I was cleaning up, I found the clippers. And I didn't think about, like, cutting my own hair. I'm like, I'm not nuts. Um, but, uh, I couldn't find the, the clips that go with it. And I'm like, I, I don't know where they went. I don't know where she, she put them. So hopefully she knows where she has them. I don't know why they wouldn't be in the same place as the, the buzzer, but we may have to get a, another one and then donate them. You could print them. You could, but I would just as soon not. That's like one of those things that I just soon go with the full on professional, this is what it is. 3D printing for me. Maybe the small practical stuff. Definitely collectible stuff. Star Wars, absolutely. But 3D printing the... the, the, the what are they? What would, what would you call them? The, uh, what are they called? The accessories, right? You know, instead of like... A, you got one, two, three, four, five, right? The different le levels. Different lengths. I'm going to wait. Until she gets home. And then I'm probably... Probably going to be pretty close to being due right around September. Guards, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know why that uh, that was escaping me. So it looks like we've queued the drops. Uh, get your drops in and your pops in if you are so inclined and watching. Really appreciate that. Checking into something here. Huh. Sorry for making everybody yawn. Suddenly I got hit with the yawns. Man, didn't, I'm not... Well, maybe I am tired. I thought I had a, a decent night's sleep. It says... It says that I slept about eight hours. Isn't that what you're supposed to get? Eight hours of sleep? Feels like I got the full eight hours. Um, so, I, I know I need to replace that tube. I can tell... I just, I've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off. Replacing the uh, the tube on here. Because the, the different layer lines. And I, I don't know if it's just this type of filament or what. So I'm going to have to keep doing a bit more experimentation with other filament. It does seem to be getting a little worse. Uh, it's about the same as it was, fix him, dude. Really close to the same. Of course, using that other filament... If there were any issues, they weren't as visible, which to me was good. Didn't bother me as much. Uh, not that this bothers me, you know, a terrible amount. I can just tell that something's still off. So I definitely need to uh, set aside some time to replace that uh, that tube because it's 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 okay. 
It's doing fine. Ish. Um, your supports last night seem to have a decent amount of under extrusion. Seemingly, but I'm not sure what I would need to do to to um, basically tweak that apart from what is it? Uh, uh, the uh, retraction, possibly? Are there supports for the helmet or is this Darth Shogun? That's supports. Those are built in supports. Uh, the, the This is at a 0.15 mm layer height. The Leo is at a 0.1. The, the issue's not as apparent with 0.1. Really? And, and so I, I even thought, like, maybe I should 3D print the, the Vader in a 0.1. The tube fix should help you when you get a chance. It's not so much getting a chance, it's just... I may, I may wait until Krusty's got some time to, like, talk me and walk me through it. Because that might be a fun stream, too. You know. Two and one. Get a two for it. Help, help me help other people at the same time. That, to me, would be one thing that I would love to see improved in a future model. I know. I'm nuts. It's, it's what I... It's, it's, it's me, you know. That would be an interesting stream? Yeah, I'm sure, because there would be a lot of disassembly. Speaking of any from crossover Star Wars prints have come across, not really Uber Superfly. Uh, I haven't been looking as deeply uh, since doing the... Uh, um, uh, the blip, 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 as I'm thinking through it, the, uh, the figurines, the figurines. 76 is now hosting my stream with one viewers. Thank you for the raid. Seeing up 76. Uh, I hope your show went well. Hope your broadcast went well. Hope you had fun. Uh, you'd be able to catch up on, uh, what I showcased tonight. Uh, here on, or over there on uh, on Discord, if you are so inclined, uh, I'm glad that you, uh, you you're popping in, my fellow Star Wars fan. Uh, I uh, I've got a lot of Star Wars stuff going on, but then again, it's a day that ends in Y. <laughs> uh, I know it's 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 not something that everyone's used to. Like I'm sure you go your entire day. Like, without hearing anything about Star Wars, and then suddenly I'm there, and that's all you hear. But that's... It's probably the way I'm going to be indefinitely. A day that ends in... Not why, not the question why, the letter why. Because Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. They all end in a why. That's, that's the joke... I think it's funny. I mean, when you... Oh, wait, hang on. Did I miss... No, I did not. We are good. I'm thinking... Okay, so I'm going to finish this particular Vader at 0.15 mm layer height. And I'm thinking about redoing... Because I'll do it. I'll, I'll, I'll print this one and do it for Jedi. But I'm thinking about uh, slicing the same one, but at a point. 1 mm layer height. Um, and theoretically, that, 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 I mean, that might, like I said, mitigate some of the issues that I saw or that I'm seeing. Uh, the Leia, like I said, came out pretty decent. Um, not a lot of, of issues or snags at the 0.1 mm layer height, just at the 0.15 and beyond. The, the, the bigger problem is that it will take substantially... It will basically take overnight. The The Vader at a 0.1 will mm uh, layer height will take overnight. So, I'm okay with that. I'm not going to complain. I'm, 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 I'm quite fine. Oh, thank you for the stretch. Oh, needed that. Ooh. Yeah, definitely needed that. Because, you know, if you can't stretch, uh, you got problems. Because you always need to do your stretch. Always. Aziz Light. What are we going with? Rainbow. I think we were... Were we white yesterday? No, we went blue. That's right. Okay, so... Rainbow. There's your rainbow. It's a nice rainbow. Yeah, the... The Leia... 
The Leia turned out nice. I had to redo her hair, though. It needed my own support, paint-on supports. And even then got a little chewy. Just a little chewy. Uh, but, you know, for a 3D printed object, it's not... It's not horrible. And the Vader, I, I would assume, is, is going to kind of fall in line with, uh, with the Leia. In terms of uh, overarching quality. So it may be the case that until I can replace that that part of the tube to go with a 0.1 mm layer height to mitigate some of the the the, the layer lines that you see 24 hour stream coming up 750 uh, I'm not gonna go that far I mean I got my birthday coming up on July 26th uh, I, I thought possibly going a little longer than I normally do. Uh, not by much, but... It might be interesting. If people are so inclined. Did y'all see my... Did y'all notice my shirt, by the way? Got falcons all over it. I, I don't know where I got... I'm sorry, not just falcons. TIE Fighters. It's got... Whoa, don't... Hang on. Falcon, TIE Fighter, X-Wing, and a Star Destroyer. I had no idea like a vehicle shirt. I have no idea where the hell I got this from. No idea. And tomorrow is Krusty's birthday. You know, to celebrate, I'm going to do a stream. That's that's what I'm going to do. I, I do not expect to see Krusty here tomorrow. In fact, I hope he's not here. Because, you know, come on. It's like your birthday? Like, do you want, really want to spend it with me? I mean, I'm honored. Totally honored. But, you know, you may be like downing a ton of tacos tomorrow because what else are you gonna do on your birthday uh for my birthday what do i have planned I, I really don't have a lot uh chicken nuggies got that planned uh i've got to find or i will get like a vegan cake or cupcake uh probably like a vegan fudgicle um which i've had before you've seen me uh, eat that um sure what else like fun food possibly even some bonus cereal so I, I, that's that's the plan. It's like you know I'm just gonna celebrate. I'm, like, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have like fun food. Uh, real chicken nuggies. Uh, well, probably just as real as the chicken nuggies that you eat. No vegan. Not four years later. Why would I? Why would I ever? Why would I ever fall back? Never. And it's never gonna happen. Uh, so they're real in the sense that they are nuggets. And Cheeky. I don't even know how... How the hell am I going to make them? I think I'm going to have to bake them. Because uh, they probably will not microwave well. And the last thing you want to do is do that in front of Liz. Heaven forbid you microwave a sausage. Which tastes just the same. As the non-microwave fry it in the pan sausage. Takes less heat and all that stuff. Um, so, chicky nuggies... Chicken nuggy cereal, uh, cupcake, uh, ice cream bar. That's, that's trust me. That's that's a lot. I should get an air fryer. Maybe if they made a Star Wars air fryer, they're likely more authentic than McDonald's. Yeah, that see that that's what I'm saying. Like you know, as much as people say, oh dude, you eat those vegan chicken nuggies. Like, do you know what you're eating, dude? Is it chicken? Is it chicken ish? Was it based on chicken? A Death Star air fryer? I'd go for that. We have a Star Wars, like, Instapot and a Star Wars crock pot, but um, no, not an air fryer. We don't have an air fryer. We have that, it's like a rotatey disc thing. Maybe that's what I should use, the rotatey disc thing that uh, Cruise the Best, uh, 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 Chris Miller, sent us years ago. Which is great. Got it off of Diana's wish list. I'm like, but we use it. We use it frequently. Maybe that'll work for the chicky nuggies because it makes them crispier, right? So that's a good idea. I'll use that. There's an air fryer attachment to the Instant Pot. Really? Hmm. Yeah, it's a, what do they call it? It's, 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 um, it, it, it is a pizza thing. Yes, you, you would use it on, Making, you know, doing new pizza, you would 
Ethan's dad Marcus just resubscribed for five months. Ethan's dad, 3D Marcus. I love how <laughs> I love how it's Ethan's dad, 3D Marcus. Love it. Also love your support. Really appreciate it. Love the app, EM3D, in the App Store, if anybody's curious. Uh, definitely worth doing if you want to scan an object into 3D existence, uh, like I did a while ago. Seems like eons ago. And thanks to Builders Mark for helping uh, get that helmet to, to, to work well with it. Uh, I was able to scan my head. So, so very grateful for uh, Ethan's dad, 3D Marcus, his app, which is awesome. EM3D in the App Store. See, the, 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 the layer lines probably wouldn't be as much of an issue if I sanded it. Pace was just gifted one subs. Look at that. Liz, thank you for gifting the sub to mine 37388. That's like a number that I've got etched in my brain. 37388. It's funny how that works, right? You get used to people's usernames, numbers. Uh, you know, it's funny. It's funny how it works. Mine, 37388. Uh, Senia 76. D. Randolph, 1976. <laughs> oh, man. Coda 120. <laughs> no more three. <laughs> oh, it's, it's funny. It's funny to me. Pezla's 514. No! What? How's yours go again? Uh, Nomi 3. See, some it's like Nomi 3 and No More 3. They sound very similar. Fucho sounds like Fucho the Clown. Oh, got another stretch from No More 3. <sighs> See, I don't just get to know names. It's the numbers, too, and I usually suck at numbers. That's the Montreal area code. Oh, nice. Ah, ha, ha. Ah, oh, this is a good stretch. I can feel the pain in my biceps. Ah, like it. I just, I, oh. I say, you know, it was a good stretch when you feel it, like in through here. See, do you see my lack of muscle? That's a trick question. The answer is no, you can't. Uh, speaking of things you can't see, but you kind of can see, uh, Super 7 announced their G.I. Joe launch, including. G.I. Joe reaction figures. That's all I wanted. Uh, G.I. Joe reaction figures. And yes, I will be collecting them. I'll see you guys. Yeah, I'll see you. Hey, hey, uh, hey, 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 hey. Yoko, uh, got, got any more of those uh, press media kits you send out about G.I. That'd be great. G.I. Joe, love to, love to unbox. 120 means nothing. When I was making my screen name, it was 120 p.m. That's funny. It's, sometimes it's, it's, the story's as good as that. I don't know if I've ever had any kind of random number. Usually I try to like come up with some kind of significance. Unless I need it to be completely random. Then it's just like, ah, eh, whatever. I don't think about it. Uh, who cares? But, you know, what are you going to do? I have rickets? I don't even know what that is. I should probably look it up. Because I might. I'm getting to that age where uh, I have to Google ailments and symptoms. Having problems doing this. Oh no! Well, Future, that's what Liz says. She says I have rickets. Not enough sunlight? Oh, is that what it is? Well... I believe I don't get enough sunlight. I've been really lax this summer. I'm not really watching what happens outdoors. You get bow-legged? I, I, I've had a weird walk my entire life. So, the Perilla walk. Like, it's, it's a very... Not bow-legged, though. 
Rickets is something that children get. Oh, okay, well, then I guess I don't have that. I am not a children. Uh, my walk is very funny. My walk is extremely funny. Like, but I'm a man on a mission. Like, when I'm, like, going through things, like, there's a difference when Diana's out with Jedi. It's kind of a leisurely, like, And mine's like, It's very, like, can't stop. Got to keep moving. Like, Jedi sometimes will, like, hang out in a certain section. Like, she'll, like, be looking at something, like, she might want to get. She might be like, ooh, there's a little, it looks sugary, you know? It looks, oh, what's this? And she'll be looking at it, and I'll, I'll kind of hang for a second, you know? And then I'm like, I'm done. And I'm like, Phew. Of course, it doesn't take her too long. I'm like, ah. And she doesn't really run, but I don't get too far away before she realizes I ain't turning her around. Like, when I'm out, I'm on a mission. That's my mission. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm there to do. I'm in and out. Um, Liz says, I walk so fast for someone with a shorter stature. Trust me, I do. I walk fast. So that's why when, you know, like I, I consider like, well, I really don't exercise. Let's see how many steps I got in. So it was a, I would say it's an average day today. Uh, according to this, 7,339 steps. Uh, and I don't think it, it, it registers as I move my arm. No. Doesn't really register, which is good. Um, that's probably after. Oh wait, no, it did. But I am, I'm, I'm active. But when I'm walking, like it's not just a walk. It's usually a power walk. Like I don't, I have two speeds, still, and going. Right. Very rarely is it in between. I don't like slowing down. I like this is what I'm there to do. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do it. How do you get with this damn yawn? Oh, man. Why am I yawning? Ugh. Looks like Nomi 3 farted on his keyboard. Or her. I don't know. Um, you have a question. On 3D models that look like sculptures. Very detailed. How are those done? 3D software or scans? Like this. Um, I don't think this one was crafted off of a scan. What I'm printing here. Oh, it, oh you've linked off to something. Uh, it, one of both. It could, have be, it could have been scanned and cleaned up, but more likely than not, it was probably an original design uh, crafted like completely from scratch by somebody and then rendered to, to potentially be uh, uh, printed. That's an interesting uh, print for free, a Superman model. Wow. Sixth dimension, Superman with a beard. Wow. But the head looks way out of proportion with the rest of the body. Like, by a pretty big factor. But that looks like it was done originally. Oh, tablet cleaning. Done that before. Been there, done that. Probably need to do it more. So, you know, if you are a 3D artist then you can get away with a lot more. Um, I would have to rely on scanning, and even then, any kind of tutorial that I've read, there's there's a fair amount of cleaning up that may still need to happen. Um, but, you know, I, I had no issues using EM3D to scan my head and, and, and the family's heads. Uh, I mean, it wasn't perfect. It definitely wasn't, like, that level. Oh, no, me three, female, fair enough. I will, I will try to register that uh, if that's how you identify. Um, I do my best. I do my best. I never want to make assumptions. Ever. I don't think that's that's fair to, to, the, to the person that might be out there watching or, or listening. So uh, thank you. Thank you for clarifying that. I, I may have known that before, and if I, if I did, just feel free to knock me upside the head. Chris. Just don't wear like a hard ring when you do it, because that'll hurt. Speaking of cleaning, I probably need to do that. It's been a while. Since I cleaned my screen, I need a little notebook oh, to write down. Well, hello, Liz.
How are you? Show me what you got! Well, I'm glad you asked, Fucho. I got a loath cat, a very happy loath cat. Wait, hang on, is that, is that, can I get that right here? I mean, this, this may, this may even be worth doing full screen. Give me a second. Huh? That's what I got. I got that. Huh? Separated at birth. There was a stretch. Let's see if I, the Jawa hand is still gonna work. Okay. I don't know what I was doing. Maybe I was pressing it wrong. Blaster. I don't know if I'm going to give Jedi the blaster, though. Because I'm afraid that that's going to get bent. And I don't want that to get bent. It's too collectible. You had No More 3 in your mouth for one screenshot? Well, that's... Sometimes that's where you land, No More 3. I apologize. Chris, you need to shave. Who are... Are you Jedi? All of a sudden. What, what is this? Jedi will say the same thing. I like you better when you shave. Like, it's my face. I can't shave every day. I could. I just don't. I know I need to shave. I know I do. Wait, wait, wait. You need you need him, Senio. You need him, or or do you need the Jawa or the Loath Cat? Which one is it? Which one do you want? Which one do you need? I'm gonna need some clarity on that. The Jawa. Fair enough. We got an ad out of the chat. Redeemed by the esteemed Avaline French. Take a pull for the shave. No, I'm gonna shave. I'm not gonna, I'm not, not gonna shave. I am gonna shave. Um, I do it maybe every week, week and a half. Jedi will say the same thing though. She does. She she, she, say, oh. she she likes when I shave. But I'm not a I'm not a shaver. Not it's not what I do. You vote to grow the baby out. Well, thank you, hey Boaz, Bose, hey Bose. Thank you. Got one person in my corner. Worst freeze ever. There's a free. There's a freeze. Did I? Did, wait a minute. How did I? What? Coda 120 froze me, and I didn't know I froze. Oh! <laughs> I'm supposed to add out the chat. I'm an idiot. The funny, the funny thing is, I meant to toggle add at the chat, and then I saw freeze frame. I'm like, oh, I apologize. I missed that. I'm cleaning my screen. I know I need to clean my face too. But Jedi will. She'll ask. I mean, I I want to do it for her, but it's like I I'm just not gonna I'm not gonna shave every freaking day. It's, just, it's not something that I do. I suppose if I did, it'd be easier to maintain. I probably have to like turn off the screen though. The pro the problem with with doing this uh, doing the screen cleaning on an active screen is not it's not a touch screen, but um, I can't see all the all the different uh, things that are dried onto the screen. And it's something that I usually do 
maybe once every couple of week, couple of weeks. Worst ad at the chat ever. Yeah, Liz, that is that is about right. Let me tell you, I'm I'm on point tonight. I don't know. I just never, I never got into. Oh, I guess that's an icon. I, I never got into um, shaving every day. I mean, I got a nice electric shaver razor thing, but did I watch The Simpsons Loki? I did not. Have not watched it. It's, it was funny because he had the freeze frame up, but kept talking and moving about. Well, it's because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Try a beard for a, a, on for a while. I usually do, like around November. I do the the what is it? Movember. So come November, it's probably going to grow out. The summer, I probably should not do. Chris Jeepers, I know. Well, if I'm in front of the TV, I'm, I'm more often than not catching up on shows or watching The Sopranos right now. I tend to to binge shows like that, like back to back, like just pound through it, not losing any momentum, you know, keeping everything fresh in my head. Chris turns into Moses for a few months each year. John, you're probably not too far off. Beard Vember. No, I think they call it like No Shade, no shade Movember or like Movember. I just didn't... Um, uh, didn't ever want to shave every day. I mean, I, admittedly, I think I look better unshaven than, like, with a mustache or a beard. Uh, but usually I'll let it go until it starts getting scratchy. And it's it's right at the point now where it's like, okay, I probably should be shaving, uh, letting my sideburns grow out a tiny bit. I, I let these grow out before the, the, the previous shave. And you can see the white... I'm hoping that as I get older, my white is going to do this. I, I, I want, like, you know, the black brown on top and, like, white on the sides. I think it would be so cool. How often do I shave my legs? Uh, never. If they made a Star Wars-themed razor, you probably shave every day. Coda 120, they did, actually. Uh, Rogue One had a Star uh, a, a shaver. Like it was, it was a, it was like a, a regular razor with a razor blade and everything. Uh, I have one to collect. Never used it, uh, obviously. Um, I prefer the the electric razor. Uh, I I, I kind of fell into that, and I was like, oh yeah, this is this is this is much better, much better. Like Reed Richards, yes, Hollywood in three D, exactly, precisely. Everyone seems to be doing well, Sesam. Although we're now talking about my need to shave. Um, I would shave on the stream. It'd be a little weird because I'd have to bring the remote camera and I don't shave. I, sh I shave uh, not over the sink. I shave over a mirror and then clean up the shavings after the fact because otherwise just cleaning up the, the hairs around the sink is just so messy. It's so much easier to vacuum it up. Well, I'm definitely not Mr. Fantastic fix him, dude. I am not claiming to be that. Ever. You will never hear me say that I could be confused with Mr. Fantastic. Yeah, those those legs always get really chewy in and around that part, so I'm not too concerned. That's fine. Don't you have kids so they do all the cleaning? I have one child who's six years old, and I'm not going to trust her to clean up that. Do I shave against the grain? Uh, I shave with an electric razor. It's 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 kind of I guess it is against because I shave I don't shave down I usually shave up I don't shave down it catches it more on up. Sometimes if it's too long I'll take the the sideburn trimmer and then and kind of go beforehand and then go through afterwards. So probably not the prime way to do it. Eh. But I, I just don't, I just, I never, I, I remember having this conversation actually with my, uh, my dad. It was a brief, um, exchange. I, I, for some reason, I remember we were at a grocery store and checking out. And I, I remember him remarking about, you know, one of these days you're, you're going to have to shave every day or something, something along the lines of, well, enjoy it while you can, because at some point you're going to have to shave every day. And I remember thinking to myself, I don't want a job where I have to shave every day. 
And I'm very grateful to not have a job where I have to shave every day. So uh, I, I will let it grow and flow. Don't most men shave regularly because women complain the stubble hurts their face? Uh, John, I have no idea. Uh, Diana's never, honestly, never remarked about it. She, you know, to her credit, she's never remarked on anything I've ever worn, on anything I've ever done with my appearance. Apart from telling me she wants me to do, a, like, a mohawk. Last time, last couple times, she's like, oh, you're growing out, do a mohawk. I'm like, I'm not going to do a mohawk. It's not going to happen. Um... I so said, you, you got hair, you can do a mohawk. Um, shave my nostril hair? I do. I do that. There's Krusty. Pre-birthday Krusty. He's going to be older than me. Yeah, is that what we've decided, Krusty? You're, you're going to be older than me? Is that how we're going to do it? My wife hates if I'm anything other than clean-shaven. Wow, Mark. It's never... It's never come up. Ever. No complaints. But then again, even if it did come up, I'm like, yeah, well, I'm not going to shave every day. Oh, you got the sun coming in. Um, definitely, definitely not going to, definitely not going to shave every day. <laughs> it hasn't happened now. At age almost 48, it's never going to happen. <laughs> Ear hair is the worst. I'm blessed in, in knowing that I don't have much ear hair right now. You can't kiss that scruff face. Oh, she can't kiss that scruff face? Well, I'm like, yeah, but I don't want to shave every day. I, you know, I, I've never, I've never really remarked, I don't think. No, I've never really remarked on what she's wearing, what she looks like, apart from saying, oh, yeah, it's nice. I see you did something different with the makeup. I can't tell what it is, but I can. Um, or, oh, you look nice or whatever. Um, but it's got to be, like, radically different, right? Like, I don't notice subtle changes. Yeah, I, I, I'd, I'd, I'd think that she must be kind of the same mi mindset. I just go five to seven days between shaves. Her problem. That's... Mark, you know, I'm, I'm just going to say it. That's, that's my feeling. Like, I, you know, if Diana wanted to go a week without shaving, let's say, her legs or her armpits, I'm like, yeah, it's your body. It's your decision. I mean, I love you either way. I don't know. You're probably right, though. It's getting, it's getting about, it's getting, it's getting to the point where it's soft, fuzzy. And the soft fuzzy is about, like, the right time to shave, so. Jedi will very often re remark on it, like, you, you, she'll say, sometimes she'll say you need to shave, and then, but that's when I say to her, I'm like, Jedi, it's my face. It's my face. Now, you can say that you like me, you, you might like when I shave. That's fine. That's fair. Those are your feelings, but don't, this is my face. Don't tell me what to do with my face. Don't tell me what to do with my body. I would never, or let me take this to this extent. I would never tell her what to do with her body. Her body, her choice. I believe that. Apart from saying, um, uh, uh, or feeling like she's too young for makeup, I, I'm not, I'm not into the dolling up of women. And, and I think it encourages misogynistic behavior and treating women like objects. And sets um, false expectations and a standard of beauty that I, I don't think anybody could ever achieve comparing to a social norm that is not under your control. So I'm generally not a fan of the makeup thing and the doll thing and, and certainly not a fan of, of anybody who would princessify, princessify a female. Um... Not into it. Uh, so that's the only thing that I feel that I kind of have to say. All right, all right, Diana, I don't. I think she's too young for makeup. I really believe that. Makeup's your choice, Liz. You're an adult. You're a full-blown adult. You understand. You have an understanding. But a child who does not yet have that understanding, and and doesn't really see the forest for the trees. 
I'm not I'm not one who wants to set up that as as a false sense of beauty. You may appreciate it, but I I'm the type of person who believes beauty comes from within. It's nice that you can do things on the outside, sure, no doubt about that. Hygiene and 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 however you want to like you put yourself together, fine. Um, Antiperspirant's your choice. Well, but see, then that's hygiene. I don't know if makeup is necessarily hygiene. Um, I, I'm I'm confident Jedi will will get into it at some point. There's no doubt about that. She's gonna follow her mother's footsteps. But I, I also know that, you know, I want her to understand that beauty is is something that you can control from within. That's what makes you beautiful. Plus, trust me, I met a lot of beautiful women who are ugly. I mean, ugly. And that, they ain't beautiful at all. I don't care how much makeup they put on. I don't care what they look like. They're ugly. They're ugly people. And ugly is not this 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 sense of of, of what might be. You know something that that, that that may be physically appealing. It's it, you know what was it? I remember an old something I read like um, beauty is only skin deep, but ugliness goes to the bone. I believe that. I believe it. it's my personal belief. You want to wear makeup? Awesome. But I I I, I, I mm. there's such a thing as too young. I I don't believe in turning my daughter into an object. So that's me. Yes, kids need time to be kids. Agree. I mean, I got her like that uh, uh, lip. What? What is it? Lip. Um, lip gloss. Lip gloss. Fine. That's that's not. Lip gloss is not makeup. Lipstick. Not so sure about. Anything around the eyes. Not so sure about. I want. Je Here's my hope. Let me let me go ahead and clarify. My hope is that Jedi can see herself as beautiful for who she is before she can see herself as beautiful for what she is. D does that put a finer point on, on that perspective? I want her to see herself as beautiful for who she is before she tries to achieve an outward beauty, an outward look that's what she is not who she is and I, I i just feel that the way makeup and beauty and fashion especially for for young women i, I feel is false expectations you know i i i don't think we spend enough time concentrating on who, who that person is before they get to the part where they, they can they can outwardly display who they are, right? It, it, it just becomes this 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 way of, of of being someone and showing yourself as someone without necessarily knowing who you are and being happy with who you are. I'm a big believer in that identity and that strong self, uh, determination, independence, um, happiness, self-worth. Uh, forget self-esteem for a second. Charles Manson had great self-esteem. That self-worth. And that is that self-worth should never be tied into a physical kind of appearance because that's going to change. It's inevitable. It's going to change. I, I feel as a society, we put way too much value on outward appearances, and I think that's to the detriment of, of individuals. Ascribing to some lofty goal that they may never be able to achieve. And I'm not talking about people who are sure of themselves, people who are confident in who they are, people who know who they are. I'm not talking about that. Because those people, th th those bold people, they, they when they express themselves, cosplaying, makeup, whatever. It's it's a different type of confidence because they've got that confidence inside. They know who they are. Inside, they they see their inner beauty before they start slathering on something to project a false sense of who they are. I don't know, but I'm a big believer in the self. 
So I want to be able to imbue this, 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 um, the value of, of, of self with Jedi, I don't know if that's going to happen. I, I don't know. I, I don't know if the, the forces around her are going to allow me that latitude to be able to reinforce over and over and over again, like Jedi, who you are is beautiful. What you are is like, a, it, it's it, you build on top of that. You are who you are. Be proud of who you are. And who you are is, you love makeup, fine, that's who you are. But makeup's not you. It's an extension of you. It's how you express yourself. That's not you. Your beauty lies within. It, it's it's not this this sheen easily wiped away. You, you can't wipe away that inner beauty. And I just feel there's so many messages that are sent with to, to specifically specifically to girls that I I just feel is just I uh, I feel is kind of detrimental. And and kind of outdated. Um, I, I'm a big believer in 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 neutrality in the sense that everything that I might have been able to accomplish, she should be able to accomplish as well. But that's not always the case. There are certain forces that she does not control. There are certain forces that I do not control. All the more reason to double down on controlling oneself, understanding oneself, valuing oneself, respecting oneself. All those things tie back into the things that you are, who you are. Your identity is, that's you, right? Everything else on top of that, it's a bonus. But this, this isn't a rant. It, it's not a rant. It's it's just, this, this is how I feel. I But I... I felt that way long before I had, you know, Jedi with Diana. Long before I met Diana. I'm like, it just... Certain things just don't sit right with me. I just, I, I wish that, you know, I could... I hope that I can get through to her on those that, that message before she's impacted by things that I can't control. Things that she can't control. More people should talk about this. We have to protect the next generation. Well, you know, I feel that... I, I think protecting is probably the right word, but but empowering is probably a, a good word to use because I don't want... I'm a, I'm a big believer, and I think this is where Diana and I diverge as parenting or as parents, like in parenting skills. I'm a big believer in... Here's what needs to be done. Do it, right? Or let's do this. Do it. Okay, here, do it. And then figuring it out as you go along. Making mistakes. I'm like, not a big deal. Let's just do this. Here's how we should do this. All right, let's figure this out. You figure out your own way. You figure out your own path. You you fall down. All right, is it is it broken? Are you bleeding? All right, well let's all right, you, okay. Let's just take stock here. You're good, all right? I'm not I'm not I'm not a big believer in um, protecting when the child isn't necessarily in harm's way or in danger or you know is is doing something that that is is not really um, reasonable. I'm a believer in, you know, you're, you're, you're fully functional. You're communicating back and we're communicating back and forth. We're going to talk. I'm going to treat you with respect, but it's you. These are your choices. And when you make choices, you're going to have consequences for those choices. You do one thing, there are going to be consequences. I'm a big believer in that. And I don't want to protect her from everything. I don't, I don't, I don't feel that Everyone, every parent's got a different belief. Everyone, there's, is there a right way and a wrong way? Possibly. Every parent's got a different belief. My belief is I'm doing better as a parent if I can not teach her, but demonstrate through, through what she's, you know, letting her do her own thing and guiding, right? You know, just being more of a, you know, the, the, the flippers on a pinball machine, right? Um, that's not an issue of control. It's it's the opposite. It's like, okay, let the child do what the child's going to do, but like guide and explain and set context. And it's like, look, when you do this, this is what's going to happen. These are the consequences to the actions, right? You, you, you throw, if you throw something, I get it. You're upset. 
you're having a problem regulating your emotions, your feelings, you're overwhelming. I get it. Trust me. I feel the same way. But you're disrespecting that particular... That, what, what, did that, what did the coloring book do? Not that Jedi's ever done that. But what, did the, what did this object do? What did it do to deserve that? Do you respect? Do you like that? Well, don't disrespect it enough that you're just going to like cast it aside because you're going to destroy the thing that you like, that you appreciate. Like There are ways of expressing your feelings. You talk about them. You let it be known. What are you thinking? What do you what do you feel? What do you don't hide? You don't need to hide. There's no shame in that. You don't you don't need to lie about something. Just just be straight up honest. And trust me, sometimes it hurts to be honest. Some sometimes that means the other person might be upset. Hey, cots, what are you gonna do? So the other person's upset. You you told them what you feel, what you think. I think that's far more important for a child to do. And there there are definitely times. That I will, I will see Jedi doing something like she knows she's not supposed to do. I'm like, dude, mm -mm, no, let's not do that. And here's why. Well, let's do it this way. I don't believe in being terribly permissive, but I also don't believe in being so strict that you don't let the child make their own mistakes and then be able to explain like this is what this is what happened and this is what happened. I get it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk through it. Let's be honest. Let's tell our truths. And those truths sometimes will, will, will cause other people some discomfort. But what are you going to do? What are you going to lie your entire life? What are you going to, you know, hide behind something because you're afraid of hurting somebody else's feelings? I don't, mm, I don't believe that. I'm a straight shooter that way. I'm like, I, it's what I do. So part of that is, um, giving her that sense of, of, knowing who she is and owning it and trust me she's more like me than i think she she's a mixture between diana and myself which is probably a blessing um she's going to i i feel that the moment she has access to a tiktok account or you know streaming or whatever she's gonna do it trust me and she's gonna do so much better than i ever did and i i'm very grateful for that i hope she speaks her mind i hope she speaks her truth even if it pisses me off what would I rather have? What would I rather have, have seen and, and reflected upon in my past? Would I have rather raised someone who didn't know who she was? Or would I rather raise someone who knew she who she was so much? I, I'll take the so much. Every day. Any day of the week. Everyone's got a different perspective. Every, ain't no parenting style that I think is, is, is the right way. I think there are a lot of wrong ways. I think there are a lot of right ways. But everyone's got to find their own path. And I feel as a father, it's my duty, it's my responsibility to protect her and to help her find her own path. Before society can get to her and attack her with these false ideals of what beauty is. Just saying. Beauty comes from within. That's my belief. Eh. That's my truth. I, I, that's, and that's probably my, I would say that was, the, that would be the one thing that I wish Jedi could take from me is that brutal honesty, which <laughs> I probably need a better sense of diplomacy. I probably do. I could attenuate that admittedly, but I, I think there's something to be said about like just, uh, being direct. This is what it is. This It is what it is. Oh, good landing, Liz. That may be the uh, the highest that we've had over the past 24 hours. Liz, Liz may have the record for now. Is, is any of this making sense? Am I just, like, rambling? I don't, what were we talking about? Makeup or whatever? And beauty or whatever? These are the things that... These are the things that go through my head. Everyone's got a different thing. It's fine. Rambling is what best streamers do. Was it rambling? Great. 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 Just what I wanted. You like rambling nights? Probably better than Chris not saying anything. No, you are making some good points. Well, no more three. I can't say that I make great points. I... 
All I can do... Oh, thank you, Avaline. All I can do is just speak my truth. And we all have different truths. That's one thing that I learned over time, too. I'm very grateful to have that perspective. We all have different truths. One of the things that I learned um, was just because it wasn't my truth doesn't mean it wasn't somebody else's. Which isn't an issue <laughs> until... <laughs> <laughs> until there becomes a, a disagreement. And then it's like, pff, how are we going to get past this impasse? Rambling better than verbal diarrhea. Well, I would hope to be able to to say something that might give someone further insight. Of, oh, that's, a, that's what makes Chris tick. I disagree with Chris vehemently, but I know where he stands. I remember there was a... Um, there was a, a college course... It was, a, it was a mandatory college course, and I can't even remember the what was what it was called. Like it was like an ecology course or something like that. And I remember the the professor. He, I mean, it was a good it was a good course, but I remember the uh, the the professor got up and he, he and he, he said something, and he may have been paraphrasing somebody else. I'm not attributing this quote to him, but he he basically said, "I don't trust a man without opinions," and he was saying it generically, right? You know, I don't trust someone without opinions. And I thought about that. I'm like, you know, I mean, there are many things that I don't have an opinion about because I don't understand it. I got no horse in the race. I'm like, but there are a lot of things I do have opinions about and I do have perspectives on. And I would, and I think what he, he meant when he said that was that you want to know where they stand. You may disagree. I mean, I disagree with that. I mean, show me one, one person on this planet I agree 100% with. I don't. It doesn't happen. It never will. There, there, there are shades of gray, right? It's not a black or white issue. But I would rather know where someone stands than to not know where they stand in, 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 on an issue, on a topic, on an opinion, right? And I may disagree with them. And, 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 and I'm not saying, oh, I can agree to disagree and we're going to get, get along swimmingly. We're, we're chums. That doesn't, that doesn't mean that's how I choose to live my life but at least when i know where someone stands i can better understand them or see tr try to see from their perspective or to know how it is that i may better be able to deal with that in a functional way when i don't know where they stand it's a it's a way bigger issue i would rather disagree with someone than not know where they stand about, I mean, about, like, serious issues, right? Uh, I always say 256 shades of gray because <laughs> that was always the gray scale, or 255, 254, or whatever. Shades of black and white. Uh, is the color or quality of the prints going downhill? Maintenance time. It is, Sesam, it, it is maintenance time. And I've been, I, I've been putting it off for so long. Uh, I, I, I was waiting for Krusty to have you know, however many minutes free to possibly talk me through during a live stream when I wasn't drinking wine uh, to be able to, uh, to, uh, to to clean it up, to, to fix it. Yeah. This is the way it was a month ago before I started printing the, uh, uh, the hologram figures. So wine makes you ramble, eh? Beer sometimes too. Or honestly, it's not even that. Like you, I, I will say, like I told you, like if I have a beer or, or even wine, I'm just like I'm done. Like I check out. I'm like, okay, I'm ready to sleep, dude. <laughs> I'm crashing. I'm 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 ready to go to bed. Uh, that's usually what it does. Uh, but um, more than anything, is it's going off on a topic that I've had extensive thoughts on that I have a perspective on. If I have nothing to say, I'm not going to say it. Um, which is probably what explains when I sit here some nights and I'm just like, oh, it's printing, okay. Pop and drop or whatever. I don't have anything to say. No one's sent me off on one topic or another. I, very rarely, believe it or not, will I talk just to fill time. I got no time to fill. I got no quota. Like, Ain't nothing going on tonight. Oh, we got a freeze frame. Dang it. D no! Loki finale didn't suck. Krusty? It did...
Thank you, Avaline. I love you too. Um, it, it didn't suck. It was just... I think it was an interesting way to end season one. It's teeing it up for season two. Um, I like the fact that Loki has given us new insight. Basically, I'm not going to say rebooted the character, kind of uh, undid the character, right, to redo it. And that's the thing that makes Loki an absolute genius, uh, as far as a show is concerned. <laughs> But the ending, I feel, I mean, perfectly tees up s season two. There is no possible way they would be able to tee up a, a, any kind of season two without ending the way that it did. It was good. It was solid. But remember, MCU is not, I mean, I love it. I'm a fan of the MCU. Uh, it's not Star Wars to me. So I'm like, oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I like it. Oh, it's pretty cool. Um, but I, I enjoyed it. Uh, I'm interested to see what happens next. And I think that, to me, is the hallmark of a really good show. What happens next? Uh, I, I don't want everything tied up in a nice, neat little, you know, package and a bow and everything. Ribbon and all that. I, I don't want that. I, I don't want that. Oh, see your last comment? Sorry, let me, let me scroll up. Uh, it sucked because season two doesn't start next week and I don't want to <laughs> Oh, Krusty, if I could give you a high five right now, I totally would. High five. Telling you, man. That's, ex that's exactly what I'm saying. Those are so good. That's how I like... That's how you know. That's how you know you like a show. Is when it's like, Ah! No! Last time I think I, I did that with MCU was really Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I, 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 uh... I, as starting out as not a fan of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., um... Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. got to the point where they'd have really good cliffhangers. I mean, really good. Uh, where I'd be like, no, don't end. I'd be smiling. I'd be just like, no. Um, not, not a lot of shows have done that. Um, you know, yeah, as much as I've enjoyed, you know, Star Wars and, and, the, and, and the Mandalorian, this is really only serialized or episodic content we've seen to this point. I don't know if there was ever any episode where I was doing that. Like, I felt like it was a cliffhanger. Like, I'd, I'd smile, certainly, and enjoy it, and would want it to be three times as long. But, um, yeah, I want... Give me something tantalizing, right? Let me, like, figure... I'm like, oh, yeah, I totally gotta figure out what's going on. Scarlet Witch didn't do that for me, or I guess uh, uh, WandaVision didn't do that for me. Uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier definitely didn't do it for me. Uh, but Loki absolutely did. Especially that, like, the finale, right? The, the, fi the final shot. I'm just like... <laughs> I'm like, season two is gonna be pretty good. Yep, I just know it ended. Me and my friends went, well, that wasn't what I was expecting. Not as great as I was hoping. Well, see, that's the thing. I wasn't expecting it to be good, great, bad. I was just expecting it to be. That, But that's the way I walk into a any bit of entertainment. I have no expectations. People say, what do you expect for the next season of The Mandalorian or The Book of Boba Fett? And I'm like, for it to be Star Wars and for me to enjoy the hell out of it. And I do. And it is. And so I feel the same way with anything. That's why I, very rarely do I watch a movie with expectations apart from I believe, based on everything I know, I believe I am likely to enjoy this film. Uh, that may be true. It may be not. I don't know. But I feel very strongly about that. I don't want to go in with preconceived notions. Especially with something that I know I may very, very much appreciate. Like Star Wars. Like, oh, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be so good. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm hyped. But, like, just let it be what it's going to be. Let it breathe. And that's how I enjoy things. So. Uh, wait until Chris sees the end of Sopranos. Oh, don't say that to me. Don't. I've got, like, what? 74 more seasons to go? God. Ugh. Remember the first time you saw the Best of Both Worlds TNG episode where Picard turned Borg? I was so mad it ended in a cliffhanger. Glad this was years after it aired. Oh, man. Parenting 102 child does something wrong. A firm slap and is all fixed. No. No, I do not. Absolutely do not believe in corporal punishment. 
I'm sure, I mean, there are many things a parent does that I'm sure will make a child like, what, what were you thinking? What were you thinking? But that's not one thing I'm ever going to ever do, ever. I, I don't care how frustrated I get. I, I'm, I'm not a fan of, of hitting or pinching or hurting physically uh, the child. Or I'm not mentally either. I mean, not like, you know, playing psychological warfare. Um, no, no, absolutely not. I'm not, I do not believe that that's the right kind of punishment for a child. I do, I do believe that a child should see consequences for their actions, absolutely, whether you call that punishment or not, don't care. I do believe in taking an authoritative approach to parenting. That does not mean authoritarian. Authoritative is not authoritarian. Um, but I do believe there needs to be consequences for actions. I do. Oh, FDAWS was awesome, but it was different. It was more dramatic than cinematic. Oh, fair enough. This is becoming a Star Trek channel. It is not, Sesam. Star Trek Next Generation finale was better than Loki finale. I I don't know. I barely remember the, the Star Trek finale. I want to say Q was involved. It was like a full circle. Farpoint? Yeah? It's been so long. They killed Chewbacca. What? Seriously? Yeah? Wait, what? Are you talking about the TNG? I assume. Farpoint was the first. What was the what was the last? I can't remember. Their Star Wars collection gets stolen by a rival family. Oh, that sucks! Dude, I'd whack him. <laughs> you get your own boxed wine. Okay? Cat. It's laced with with uh, uh, catnip. My wine. No more three, in case you did not know. Yeah, you know, Discovery is... is If P anybody were to ask, like, hey, Chris, what would you do to get into Star Trek? I'd say start with Discovery and work your way back. Some people would disagree. Start with Discovery, work your way back. I don't know. I mean, some of the shows aged well. Maybe some of the the the, sci the, the, uh, the effects in, in some of those shows... I, I enjoyed the hell out of Deep Space Nine. Deep Space Nine is my jam, easily. Deep Space Nine, Voyager, TNG. I didn't get into Enterprise... At all. Um, your favorite TNG was the inner light. Blew my mind. He lived a whole lifetime and just carried on. Oh, yeah. That was the one where he, he, he played the flute or whatever. Yeah, that was pretty pretty amazing. I mean, they were good shows. They they absolutely were. And maybe, you know, at some point, I'll rewatch them. Maybe if Jedi ever expresses interest, I'd rewatch them. Thank you for following, Celestial. Wow. Oh, okay. Subrosa, when Dr. Crusher falls in love with a ghost ancestor. I don't even remember that one. So many, but there were so many good TNG episodes, right? I mean, the, the classic, of course, is Darmok and Jalad at Tanagra. Shaka, when the walls fell. Timba, his arms wide. Like, something on the ocean. And he related it to Enkidu and, and, uh... Uh, Gilgamesh, the Epic of Gilgamesh, right? I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, the Borg episodes, I, I wasn't as into. I remember that other one. What was it called? The, the, the you just referenced it. Um, the uh, Inner Light. That was a good one. Uh, I remember the uh, the one where they wore that Google Glass looking thing, and it, it, it like triggered a. Um, like some kind of uh, serotonin bump or whatever. That was interesting. I remember the one where they all... Uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? De-evolved into their their like um, their species origination. Like one became a big spider, you know, whether it was a monkey or... They all like devolved. I thought that was interesting. That was a good one. Uh, Chain of Command is good too. See, I you might mention the title, but if you gave me the plot synopsis, I, I might remember uh, whether or not I, I I watched it. The TNG episode, at least. When they turned into kids on TNG. I remember that one, too, Pezliz. That was a good one, too. See, I mean, I, I, believe it or not, I've, I've watched a... People don't... I'm so into Star Wars that people don't even... They can't even imagine that I've also immensely enjoyed Star Trek. Uh, like, like, for real. No more... Force Ghost Filament? No. 
those are uh, those figurines are lined up on a shelf right now. Celestial Feces says, welcome. Thanks for the shout out. No worries. Thank you for following. When Deanna had that weird kid that just dated and grew up fast. I remember Data having his kid. And of course, Data and Lore. The plot. It was a dark and stormy night. Yes. Don't you remember when they when they ran into that temporal anomaly? <laughs> Which was like every episode. Deja Q brought us the best quote ever. Q, what must I do to convince you people? Worf, die. Oh, very clever, Worf. Worf, you need good books lately. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I liked Worf. Worf was good. I, liked, I, I think I liked Worf more on DS9 then uh, and i know why he was brought to ds9 right um more so than tng even though of course tng brought us Worf. what's a star trek oh hollywood n3d bad batch at midnight i will be asleep because i am an old i'm a very old we should have a poll which one is better star wars or star trek i i eh, it's kind of that's a little on the nose uh, some people enjoy one more than the other. It's okay to enjoy both. I do. You love the Worf getting denied complications on YT. Literally 10 minutes of Worf getting denied to kill people. I don't even remember. Do I remember that? Worf, son of Moog. Oh boy, here we go. As we finish this Vader cape. Uh. That's great. It starts with an earthquake. Birds and snakes and airplane. Lenny Bruce is not afraid. I have a hurricane. Listen to yourself churn. World serves its own needs. Dummies serve your own needs. Feed off it. Feed it off an O S B. Grunt, no, strength. The ladder starts to clatter with fear. Fight down height. Wire in a fire representing seven games. A government for hire in a combat site. Left of west and coming in a hurry with the furies breathing down your neck. Team by team. Reporters baffled, trumped, tethered, cropped. Look at that low playing. Fine then. Uh-oh. Overflow. Population common food, but it'll do. Save yourself. Serve yourself. World serves its own needs. Listen to your heart bleed. Dummy with the rapture and the re re revered and the right, right. You vitriolic, patriotic, slam, fight, bright, light, feeling pretty psyched. It's the end of the world as we know it. It's the end of the world as we know it. It's the end of the world as we know it. And I feel fine. There was no way I was going to attempt that like Michael Stipe. No way. That would have ended in disaster. It's like William Shatner doing R.E.M. And I think it's going to be a long, long time. Chief O'Brien was underrated. He was, but he had a chance to shine in uh, DS9. Oh, in the middle of that, I guess we got a freeze frame, so... Thank you, Fixin' Dude. Oh, wait, I totally forgot to turn that on, didn't I? I'm an idiot. Okay, there, it was on. I was really frozen, I just didn't have the freeze frame on. <sighs> idiot. Sorry. Back in a bit, fair enough. Well, I had it on briefly. Worst freeze stream ever. I know, dude, I keep screwing up. 
Oh, I can't help it. Oh, no. Sorry, Deviously Mango. And a shout out to Deviously Mango. Unless it already happened. And a shout out to Amish Ace. Totally missed that because I screwed up. If it wasn't for Star Trek, we would not have Star Wars. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't think that. I don't think that it's right to admonish someone for for liking one more than the other. And I also think it's okay to like both. Well, because I like both. Nor would I make fun of anybody. I mean, as much hell as I or no, sorry. Let me let me rephrase that. As much as I don't like the Expanse. Someone else likes the Expanse. What am I going to do? I don't want to pee in their Cheerios. And a shout out for you. Hollywood in 3D, you got to stream your unboxings. You know you want to. Yeah, I'm going to do a... I'm going to slice a, a Vader on the .10 detail let it print basically overnight and then do the body well, the bodies the body would be pretty good at .102 I'll have to do both but I had to print the body differently because the uh in the STL file, uh, one side was raised, and I didn't even realize it until today. So that's basically what I'm going to start after, after this one's through. Uh, you've created a monster. Iskra thinks that today is Friday and wants her wet food. Oh, boy. I didn't pee in your Cheerios. Don't get mad at me. You love both, but Trek has more special place in my heart because I got to know it first. Never watched Star Wars until I started watching your vlogs. <laughs> that's awesome, Kurt. That's awesome. Well, you can like both. Have I seen the Valve Stream Deck? I have. Pretty interesting. Really, honestly, like, very compelling price point. Like, incredibly affordable. For what it is, like, wow. Wow. Um, we'll see how the reviews pan out, but, dude, it looks like a, a nice portable gaming machine. Very nice. Very, I mean, and people say, oh, it's so expensive. Like, no, nah, you don't really understand. That's that's pretty decent for what it is. Agree on that point. We'll be curious how it does. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm not a PC gamer. Like, it's not, I mean, I've got a library and a half. That's for sure. So I've got such a backlog. Um, I think it's a smart move. Um, video games are not going away. In fact, it's been suggested that Netflix is going to be releasing video games. I'm like, I'm fine. Okay, I, I, will I play a lot of them? Maybe not. But if that helps Jedi get into video games, I will not complain. I, I'm probably the only father out there going, yeah, let her, let her play video games. Oh, not even suggested they announced they'd be doing that. Okay. Well, then, you know, Google Stadia is probably going to be a while. They'll probably pivot and call it YouTube Games at some point. Uh, of course, we know Apple Arcade has been around for a bit. Um, Steam doing the same thing. Netflix. Doesn't surprise me. Get, like Gamefly in the 2000s, except the Midnight Smith. Um, you don't have to return anything. You're just going to rent. Your Steam library is so massive, so it'd be cool to play some of them on the go. Such a BPPC for that, and I have a Switch. See, so, yeah, that's so what I'm saying. Like... Then the question is, is where does it fit, right? I suppose it'd be a good machine if you were laying in bed. If you like laying in bed and playing games, yes. Xbox Game Pass is awesome. You can get it on the PC as well. Yeah, that's what makes Xbox so good. Xbox is no longer just tied to the hardware. In fact, as Xbox rolls on, it's going to be less and less tied to the hardware, right? Playing it on the Apple TV or, or Chromecast or iPad or, or PC. Doesn't matter. You're playing the games. You're paying into the subscription. You're good. And I like that. I like that a lot. A lot. Uh, it's the future. It's the way it's, the way it's gonna be. Just like with music. Uh, and, and you know, I I I would rather 
I'd rather not own a game. I know I'm kind of I'm a rare breed anymore, but not own a game, but just know that I could get access to it. Not have to worry about load times and revisions and updates and all that crap. Just be able to load it, and it's there. There it is, and I'm playing it. That's that's the kind of person I am. It's the way I was with uh, movies for years. It's the way I was with music. Don't jump so fast. Apple already denied the Xbox Game Pass streaming to iOS devices. Uh, I, I wouldn't count them out. But what I'm saying is that Apple has... Um, what is it? Apple Arcade? That's what I'm saying. So they've got, they've got something like it. Uh, I think it's a matter of time before it has to get opened up. Could be wrong, but who's harmed most in that scenario? Consumers or, or or Apple? Working on moving Game Pass to PWA so you can do it in a web browser on Apple. You are Squirrel Master, or they are working on moving Game Pass. Oh yeah, that would it would not surprise me. They are. I'm like you. Wait, what? Um. Unless they lose the, Ep the Epic versus Apple lawsuit, Apple will be denying it. Someone's going to cry antitrust if they don't allow other services soon. That's exactly what I'm thinking. And I think it is. I think it's I think it's unfair to consumers. I really do. We got I, I, I got a device. It's cloud playable, so it's not it's not um, it's not like it's a restriction in hardware. It's all being rendered on the other side. So it's not a software issue. So if it's not a software issue, why is it a software issue? And I think that's that's kind of what it boils down to. I'm not a gamer. Never pretended to be one. I, I like video games. I've played them every so often. Eh. What are you going to do? So it will definitely be interesting. To see how all this plays out. We got about two minutes left on this cape. I don't know. Well, actually, we will be printing this out. Yeah. And then I'm going to start. I'm going to start the body of Vader. Wait, did I get the arms in that one? Glad I looked. Uh, let's see if we can get this thing assembled. Vader's tricky with that cape. Vader's very tricky with that damn cape. Brim and the raft on the body because that's the thing that's floating. Yeah, this is going to be an overnight print. The, not the one I'm doing now, obviously. That's about you're ready to finish up for Jedi here. Not running through your browser is preferred. Apple won't allow that right now because of payment methods, competing services. Great. All right, running a an ad break. Thank you, M. Hoken. Michael, is it? Yes. She is done. Frame width, 10. Port material raft one layer slicing this, this is going to take a while an hour give me a second i gotta get this stuff loaded body oops we do not want that
this other one's gonna take a while too. Basically like the, the one I just did, it's gonna take overnight. I don't know if the quality is necessarily gonna be that much better, but. We shall see. Drive on your NAS just crashed. Oh boy. Fun. Sorry about this. Should be good there. All right. <laughs> See, that shows you where my head's at. My head was like raid. I am I'm not someone who I am definitely going to be looking for different pliers tomorrow. I think I'm getting these pliers. I gotta find some good pliers. These pliers are not good pliers. That came off okay. Yeah, that cape doesn't look too bad. It really doesn't. Cape looks great. Cape looks fantastic. I suppose it's relative, right?
Good night, Krillin. Not a lot of wacky supports on these figures, of course. Sorry, Coda 120. Parts of it get really chewy. Sorry that the poop failed yet. Future the Clown is here to clean up your act with that soap. It's been so long I've forgotten the feeling. Ah, <laughs> uh, sorry. Sorry. Had some supports last night. Not too many. There's a, there's a, on fangs.com, there's a, uh, Ms. Minutes from, um, Loki. That looks like it would take a lot of supports. If I was inclined to print that. You like the pink? Yeah, Nomi 3, it's, it's, it's solid. This is a Jesse PLA. Um, magenta, pure magenta, designed not for what I'm using it for, but for lithophanes. It's my understanding. Ooh, this got chewy too. It's got really chewy. Sorry, in these times, if I'm not able to see your chat, because I am focused, I am focused, I am concentrating. My Palpatine's kind of like a mix between Starscream and Cobra Commander. Alright, let's see what we got here, people. Let's see how this works out. Pink Vader for Jedi. I'm going to print another one of these for me at a 0.1 mm layer height. This is at a 0.15. And I know it's going to get challenging here. <laughs> I know what I'm in store for here. No illusions. No mistake. Ah! Dropping Vader hands in my crotch here. Is pink okay for girls? I think it's a gendered color, unfortunately. Pink's okay for everybody. Jeez, oh, crackers.
melted that one a little too long. <laughs> Holy cow. Uh, I'm going to need to get my craft knife on that one. Oops. Oh, sorry. Oops, sorry. Where the hell is my craft knife? How to ungender colors from our minds. Well, it just takes time. Sorry. Because I, I really screwed this up. Way too hot. Salvaged it, saved it, that's for sure. Okay, this one's gonna be far less. Come on. Oops. Well, it is what it is. Jedi is going to get something that's not exactly perfect. Dang, dude. Really pooched this one, didn't I? I need to redo this hand, which I can redo after I get the whole thing set up. Oh man, this is not, oh, oofta, holy cow, that This is really 
going to be very, very tricky. It's tricky. <laughs> this is going to be very, very, very tricky to assemble. It's okay. I want to do one of these hands again, I think. Tight. Oh god, that's tight. Now the trick. Nope, oh, that was easy. Yeah, the screw didn't break on that one, Coda. Sometimes it, if I, if I, I learn to tighten it just enough, it's fine. If I try to over tighten, that's where, that's where it starts getting kind of loose. So as long as I, I've got it just tight enough, but not too tight, it's fine. And we have a mostly complete pink Vader. Mostly because, unfortunately, I, I seem to have, uh, like, needed to uh, print a, um, that hand. It just didn't, it didn't, it, it, I'm going to, I want to redo it. I came close to redoing or wanting to redo this one, this other one, this other hand. Um, but this hand it needs to be basically redone, which is fine. Uh, it's, it's, that's quick. That's, that's easy. I'll do that potentially tomorrow to finish this one up. This one is going to be for Jedi. Uh, I'm printing another one right now. This is at a, a 0.15 mm layer height, but he lost the hand. I think he lost, did he lose... The left hand or the right hand, though? I thought he lost the, lost the right hand. I could be wrong. Which I... You, you can't really tell, but I messed that one up, too. Um, on this particular print. Yeah, I saw that, too. Suck nerd butt. It was really weird. Um, yeah, so it was right hand. So that's his left hand. That's off. Um, I mean, I could use this one, but the problem is, is I, I... In trying to... I... In order to get the hands to stay in the sockets, you need to melt them. Unfortunately, I melted this other one a little too much, so I'm going to reprint this other one. But as it is, like, I think Jedi is going to get a kick out of it. I think Jedi is going to go, oh man, it's a pink Vader. That's so cool. Oh my god. So she's going to have a pink Vader and a pink Princess Leia. I'm pretty sure she's going to say, could I have a pink this? Can I have a pink that? Can I have a pink... I'm like, oh, God. Sure, we'll see. We'll see, honey. Details can't necessarily show with this particular, with this particular camera, but this is at a 0.1 mm layer height. This is at a 0.15 mm layer height in terms of the uh, the quality. So um, I'm going to be doing a Vader in this quality. I'm not going to be printing another Leia um, in, in, in pink or the, the magenta. But uh, I'm not going to reprint all the models in pink. Uh, or at least that's the hope. I hope. I hope, I hope, I hope. Um, I'm going to leave this stuff out, I guess. Just wait. That'll be tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to reprint that hand. Get the other Vader assembled to show you. But we've got a, a Vader and a Leia in, uh, in magenta. Both done today. So... And it looked pretty nice. She, I think she always wanted a pink Vader, and I, I'm fairly confident she she did not have one. She's had a, like a pink Vader bust, but not like a figure or figurine. 
Um, easily reprinted, easily redone. So very happy to uh, have uh, been a part of that journey, as it were. So now my next question is, as I move this over here, uh, who, who shall we raid? We've got Sid Heresy, Brit, that we just raided her, J-Hobo, Mr. Boba Feet, he's playing a game, that Y-Wing guy we never really heard back from, Tin Hat Bobcat, uh, doing, re looks like retro stuff, Darth Esquire, also doing Lego, no. um, any suggestions, any recommendations, any ideas? It's just suck butt. T Pain says when he is playing on Twitch and does poorly. Oh, good to know. I don't watch T Pain on Twitch. I don't watch a lot of gamers on Twitch, which is probably my problem. That that's that's totally my bad. That that that's where I've dropped the ball. Uh, so, any inclinations, anybody? I'm seeing a few different people, though we, we don't really hear from a lot of them, necessarily. Um, Darth Esquire, AZ Pinoy, Rock. They're both doing Lego stuff. So what do you think? Of course, Sid Heresy is doing... He's doing that. What do you think? After my Super Geeky suggestion last night, taking a break, but I liked it. Oh, Knackers? Donut King? Old Timey Computer Show? Yeah, but that's not a... I don't think they're... Old Timey Computer Show isn't like real people interacting, though, is it? I, I don't have, like, a laundry list of, like, oh, a ton of people who are streaming right now. At least the people that I'm following. Um, he's doing circuitry. So, he got circuitry work or Lego. That's basically what it boils down to. Circuitry or Lego. It was so good last night. Right? Who did we do last night? Now I can't remember. Who did we raid last night? Oh, oh, yeah, he was, he was designing, like, uh, 3D printers. Yeah, that was pretty incredible. You're right. Uh, so Sid, the 3D printer guy. Yeah, yeah, I can't remember his handle right now, but so we got circuitry and electronica, or electronic music, or Lego. Uh, you know, it's been a while since we, we've we done Sid Heresy. I, I, I like him. I think he's fun. He does things that I could never do. So he's he's doing soldering and playing his, I'd assume, his music. Oh, Kobe got a 3D printer? Really? That's funny. Haven't heard from them in ages. Now Chris needs to get a turntable. That's definitely not going to happen, Fix'em Dude. At least not for playing music. I'm definitely not skilled. Uh, let's do Sid. Unless anyone's got any recommendations. Other recommendations? People that I have, we haven't done in a while. We're going to do Sid. He's interactive. He's geeky. Technology. I know a lot of people here like that. Uh, I love you. I appreciate you, but at this point, I'm going to leave you to your own devices and may the force be with you always. I'll be back again tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Pacific. I don't know what I'm going to be 3D printing yet. Uh, I've got a few things on my desktop that I want to get through. Um, definitely wanted to get through uh, this particular color with a couple of these figures before Jedi gets home. 
Um, thanks again for hanging out uh, tonight. I really appreciate that uh, for being here with me as I kind of pound through things. Thank you for listening to my ramblings. Really appreciate that as well. Go ahead and get your Perillo Raider emotes ready. Perillo Raider, did I type that in right? I did! Yay! That always makes me happy. Uh, thank you, Liz, for the additional 10 bits there. Uh, appreciate that as well. Catch you on the flippity flip. Y'all are welcome, of course, to, you know, watch whoever you're going to watch. I just, I sit here, he, he's, he's, he's a creator, he's creative, he's geeky. Like, he, he fits the mold, as far as I'm concerned. If every, anybody that I, I would love to watch on, on Twitch. Um, so, he's, he's, he, he's someone worth watching, I feel. Uh, and he could potentially teach you a lot if you're looking to do that kind of thing. So always looking for other raid recommendations, but that's who we are raiding tonight. He's been here once or twice, which is always good to see when that happens. Uh, okay, now, wait, hang on. We've already got the raid. It's happening in 10 seconds. <laughs> Sorry. Tuscan raiding in three, two, one. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, Lord of mercy. Out of mercy. Out of mercy, guys. Pep cats, daddy -os, rock and rollers. We're getting raided by the one. The only Chris Perillo. Guys, if you're not following his channel, what the heck? It's awesome. It's awesome, awesome, awesome stuff. Uh, lots of 3D printing, lots of Star Wars. The bowl of strategy. We're hoping so. We're hoping so. We're, we're praying like hell. We're praying like hell.